ISU Grand Prix in the long program for the ladies. No chance of getting to the final here. It's more about uh, experience and giving a good skate. Used to represent Russia until 2011. Now representing Switzerland, Anna of Karova. Triple Lux, Double Toe Loop. Under-rotated there slightly on the Triple Loop. there with the arms above the head making the element much more difficult to achieve and another jump sequence there with a the triple loop again a little bit short on the landing followed by the double toe loop Problems there. Only managing the double flip. Double axle, half loop, double salco appears to have a small problem with the hair falling. Hope she hasn't got the uh, Barbie clips in there. combination spin to finish well she kept it going and the hair just about stayed in <laughs> to the end of the routine and of course that uh, might sound a bit frivolous but if there are clips in there and they have come out on the oh, ice yeah. and somebody oh, later so skates so over them they could that. well fall it could be a major health and safety hazard uh, quite literally but a good performance to start us off on this ladies event from Anna of Karova skating for Switzerland
Yeah, I thought it was very nice. Um, you know, great interpretation to the music chosen. And uh, I thought, you know, she skated quite clean. Obviously, the elements were not all probably as difficult as they could have been. Choosing to do, obviously, a small double flip or and the double lots. Um, and a little bit of under rotation on that first triple loop. For sure, that will be a downgrade. So not, not all perfect, but... You know, there were a lot of good things in that program that I liked, and, and she really did try and sell it. Good conditioning for me, because she just kept pushing right the way through it. Absolutely, yeah. There was no sort of real breathing points in that, was there? Just kept going and rolling on. So she did very well there. Here's the Lutz. Managing to get that rotation just about there. And then into the double toe loop. Very nicely done. Peter Grutter will be pleased with the effort and the results here. And there's the triple loop. This is the second one. Again, I would be questioning the rotation on that. Yeah, just cheating the rotation on the first part of the jump. And obviously, we'll be looking. Uh, for the more cleanly landed jumps and the judges if it isn't a downgrade they would uh, definitely be looking at it on a grade of execution good position in the spins well she was 12th in uh, the trophy Lombard in Bordeaux just last week and so she'll be hoping for more than that. Currently, she's in 12th place and above her, Paulina Edmonds. Well, we'd expect uh, Paulina to really do much better than she did. So that we'd expect her to be moving up dramatically from that 11th place. Uh, it's a funny one, though, the relative positions. Uh, I went to an Olympics once, and I was at the bottom of the pile. And it looks dreadful. You know, if you, you do all the people mm. at the Olympics, you look like you were last. Yeah. But actually, I think, I don't know, like 12th or 13th or something. But that was our world positioning at the time. Just nobody else had turned up because they hadn't <laughs> sent it. <laughs> so uh, everything's relative. This is the, the best of the best in the Grand Prix series. Yeah, the free program, you know, even if you have a bad short, it's obviously better to do a clean short, but, you know, never give up because there's a lot to fight for in the free program. Lots of points can be accumulated in the, in the four minutes that they have to skate for the ladies. And uh, nothing's lost. You have to work and, and try and pull yourself back. And a, a view of our technical team. Of course, please. Technical specialist. Uh, the director there, they'll be, they talk to each other throughout the routine. If, uh, if they have uh, a little disagreement about something, they have to get it validated right at the end, can sometimes hold up the marks a bit.